Okay, I'm going to try and re-record this one more time. If I can't, then screw it. I'll just do the blog post. Um, so it's the day after, and we now know who the president is. The American people decided, no, wait. Let's go and say 70%. Yeah, 70% of America thought it was okay to put a man who is bipolar, unmedicated, with severe impulse control issues, a racist, bigot, accused rapist, into office. I understand that all these other presidents were, you know, flawed in one way or another. You know, um, I believe Kennedy had an affair, Marilyn Monroe, right? I believe, um, oh, God, you know, Kennedy was well-loved, so was Reagan. Obama had mixed reviews, you know, people loved him, people hated him. I don't know very much about presidency. I try to stay away from that because of this. <laughs> I feel like crying. I'm going to cry because you guys thought that it was okay to put a racist accused rapist bigot into office and now my children are afraid <laughs> my friends and family in the USA are afraid <laughs> you guys don't understand this affects everyone you're basically telling people out there it's okay to get accused of rape and not face the freaking consequences hey you're you're accused of rape let's make you president Oh my god. I'm trying so hard to stay calm. I want to keep my children safe. I want to keep my family and my friends safe. How hard, How is that even possible? What did you do to the people that voted for Trump? Why? Why would you do that? You know, is marijuana that important to you? Is it is attempting to keep immigrants or or Mexicans out of the USA that important to you that you would put somebody who is being accused of sexual assault being accused of rape the guy was went on TV and was quoted as saying that he would lie if he was presidency if he was running for presidency he would lie to America and they would eat it up. And look what happened. You guys bought all of his bullshit and now he's president. He's going to be president. And you guys think that you just screwed yourselves. Guess what? You didn't. You screwed everybody. How can you be so blind? And for those assholes that are going to comment on my blog and say, Oh, you don't even live in America. It doesn't affect you. Screw you. Screw you and all your stupid beliefs because guess what? I'm Canadian. We are directly affected by all your crap. We just have no say in it. We have to bow down and kiss his ass and we have no say in it. You guys are pathetic. You know, the only reason that I'd say about 15% of that 70%, maybe 30% of that 70%, voted for Trump was because of a threat. Now, it, it might be a rumor, but rumors, rumors always come from somewhere, some part of a the truth. There is a rumor going around high schools, okay? And we're not talking about children speaking. We're talking about teachers, guidance counselors, principals, talking about how if Hillary had won, Freaking Donald Trump's best buddy Putin would have started World War III. My babies are afraid that there's going to be a war. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do. I can't keep my children safe. And my friends, my family, they can't keep their children safe and they live in the States. So what did you do? You gave a man with extreme self-control issues, impulse control issues, a nuclear bomb. You people are crazy. 
you know, my daughter came home the other day and said that the teachers were all talking about how if Hillary was voted in, that Putin was going to declare World War III. And I don't give a shit if I'm not saying his name right. My children are afraid. This is something I can't protect them from. I can protect them from things that go bump in the night. I can protect them from bad guys, you know, like dating. I can protect I can protect Paige from drugs or try to. <laughs> I can protect her from herself almost, but I can't protect her from some dude with a bomb. <sighs> what did you do? Why? Were the little things that he has promised so important? You put a man that bankrupts himself over and over <laughs> in control of your finances. Way to go. <sighs> I'm trying so hard to stay you know, calm and happy, but just because I don't live in the U.S. doesn't mean that we're not affected, because we are. Our children are affected. Where they choose to go to school is affected. My baby doesn't want to go to the U.S. anymore. She wanted to go to California. Not anymore. Not with Trump in office. Hell no. <sighs> I want to do the right thing. I want to say the right thing to people. I want to say the right thing to my children. I want to say the right thing to my family and my friends and, you know, pretend that I'm this strong person, but I'm not. Canadians are directly, directly affected by this. And there's nothing we can do to stop it. There is no say in the matter. Nothing. We just have to sit back, let it happen, watch and deal with the consequences. And that's not fair. I think it's about time things change. If we have to be affected by the USA, then we should have a say in who gets into office. And vice versa. Because believe me, Canadians would not have voted Trump. You guys would have been saved by us. We are the angels and we would have touched you because you needed to be touched by an angel last night. And you totally weren't. And for all you perverts out there, don't even try it. Perverted comments will just be deleted. <sighs> I'll pray for you because that's all I have power to do. I'll pray for you. I will hope. I will cast every spell that I can possibly think of of protection. I will do my best on my part to help you because you're going to need it. Those people that voted for Trump, six months after he takes over presidency, you're going to be wondering why in the hell you did it. And I'm just going to sit back and say, told you so. <sighs> To everybody else, sorry for my rant. I'm just, I'm so scared. I'm scared because my children are scared. It'd be a totally different story if it was just me, you know. I don't really give a shit about myself. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. You guys can say what you want, but I don't. It's my children. I, I'm scared. I'm scared for my children. I'm scared of what this all means for my children. My babies don't deserve this. Your babies don't deserve this. <laughs> and now I have to explain to my 17-year-old why it's okay. Actually, it's not okay. But why it, the American people seem to think that it's okay to put in an accused rapist into office. I have to tell my children that rape is wrong. Rape should not be rewarded. And yet, the people that voted for Trump, the people of America that voted for Trump, just told my children that being accused of rape, eh, whatever, it's okay. Here, let's reward you. Let's make you president. I have to go because 
this is making me angry and hurt and I, I'm just going to break out in tears any minute now and I just, I can't handle this. I don't know how people out there are handling this. One note I want to say before I go. There are people out there saying that um, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> or why are we so angry? Or, you know, it's not like we're at war. I love that one. That was on Facebook. That was funny. <laughs> not haha -ha funny, just irony. You're talking about a guy that has impulse control issues that sat there and called Hillary all these different names, like really nasty names. You all saw it. I saw it. I'm freaking Canadian. I live in Canada. I'm a Canadian citizen, and I just watched all of that, and you guys saw the exact same things, and you voted him in. Stupid much. To the people that didn't vote him in, and vote it for someone else. Kudos for trying. To the people that didn't vote at all. I have to agree. That makes you part of the problem. I know that sounds horrible. But when it came down to this presidential election. You should have voted. I mean hell. There was even somebody out there that said. Um, that she voted. She crossed out the two names. And put in Bernie Mac. You know. Normally, I would say, well, that was silly. But in this election, I think that freaking crossing out both names and putting freaking Donald Duck would have been better. Walt Disney, let's get him in here. Oh, wait, did he die? <laughs> He'd probably still make a better president. I'm scared. I'm very scared. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go, as I said. Um. Sorry, no, I hit the mic. Just, um, God, I don't know. Somebody linked me that uh, extension for the president thing, um, that the elections thing for Chrome that weeds out anything on Facebook for the election because I don't want to hear about it anymore. I'm going to stay in my safe space. I'm going to lock myself in my head and just forget about all of this. Because that's probably my only defense. I have to explain to my children why it was okay to put somebody that is accused of rape into office. Out of everything, seriously, out of all of it, those two things are what hurts the most. The rape allegations and allowing that man to be in freaking office while this is going on and then voting him president. Stupid. Idiots. And then also this rumor going around. It came from somewhere about starting World War III if he hadn't won. Why, people? Why is this okay? Why is nobody... Why does it seem that hardly anyone else is angry about this? Why, why did you say it was okay to your children... To everybody else's children, that rape is okay and should be rewarded. Because honestly, that's how it looks to me. That's how it looks to many Americans. That's what it looks like to many Canadians. And that's what it looks like to my children. My children. Real life. Flesh and blood. My children are being told by some jackass Americans that it's okay to rape somebody and get rewarded for it. To be accused of raping somebody and get rewarded for it. You people are crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't get so angry. I know I shouldn't have this huge breakdown and I just... I'm scared. I'm scared of what this means to the American people because I have family. I have real life family in the States. I'm scared of what it means for my children. My my oldest wanted to go 
to California, and now she wanted to go to Los Angeles. I don't know why, because she thinks that's where the stars go. She thought that going there would make her a star. Yes, I know that's kind of a deliberate notion, but you know, hopes and dreams, it's not my place to knock her down. It's just my place to show her the right way. Well, USA, <laughs> she no longer wants to go there because of Trump. I'm just scared. And I know there's many other people out there that are scared as well. I'm sorry if I lose friends over this. I'm sorry if I lose followers over this. But it's my opinion. And I'm scared. And I'm worried. And you're right. I'm not American. But I'm a Canadian citizen, and this affects me directly. It affects my family, my children, it affects the world. <laughs> the people that voted him in just screwed the entire world. Congratulations. Real winners. To anyone who's interested, please subscribe to my social media. I promise I'm not always like this. Um, <laughs> to my YouTube channel and to my blog. <laughs> Yeah, this is going on my blog. I actually didn't swear in this one. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. Well, not, uh, what's the word? Um, violent swearing. <laughs> I think I said pissed off or something like that. But everybody says that. <sighs> okay. I swear I'm not like this. But I'm scared. I'm scared for my children. I'm scared for myself. I'm scared for what this means for the future of the world. I hope he's, what is it, impeached? I don't know, I don't know what the right word is. I hope that he doesn't make it into office. Wow, <laughs> it's just crazy, so crazy. All right, I'm going to go because I'm going to break down in tears. <laughs> oh, God, this is scary. You guys thought it was scary when Obama took over. Well, this, <laughs> this is World War, War, World War III of the people. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs>